Welcome back to another video tutorial series of Power Flutter and GetX Quiz application tutorial series. In the last video lecture, we have learned how an admin can just create categories and save it to our local storage. And then we have also learned how the saved categories can be loaded uh, on our screen. So in this video lecture, we will be learning how can we just add questions to the particular quiz category. So for that, let's just begin with the coding. So I'll be just going to my headman dashboard. And here when I just let's start quiz and I'll be redirected to my headman dashboard. But you will see no categories loaded on admin dashboard because we have we we just redirected to admin dashboard but in uh, admin dashboard we are not loading the quiz categories from our shared preferences so for that we need to uh, first load our categories and then we need to build all of these widgets so for that we need the init state so in whatever we had in this init state will be initialized or executed first then it will build the build widgets so for that we will be just calling our question controller which is the instance of our question controller class and now we will be just loading our question category from our shared preferences so when i be doing this and saving this and now when i just re uh, I start my application and when I'll be going back to my headman dashboard our quizzes or our categories will be loaded so let's just see that I'll be going back to my headman dashboard and yeah we have just got our quiz categories so in this video lecture we will be just uh, adding questions to this particular categories when admin just click on any of the category it will be redirected to another screen and and on that screen admin can be able to add questions so let's just create an another screen in our admin directory and that will be admin screen dot dot so i'll be just creating an stateless widget here and i'll be just naming it admin admin screen so that's it so now what we need so on this admin dashboard when admin clicks on any of these category so we need to pass the category name to our admin screen to that uh, this screen should have the category title so uh, for that we, we will be able to add the questions to that particular category so for that we will be just getting our category from our admin dashboard so i'll be just creating a string and a variable which will be quiz category so that's it now i need to just add this final field into my constructor so it should be uh, required whenever and wherever this admin screen should be called this quiz category should be passed to it so now we need to just click on this screen and we need to be redirected to our admin screen so for that we, we will be using the list style on tab function here which will be on tab and for navigation we are using our getx to navigate from one screen to another screen so we will be using get two and now we will be just adding our admin screen and as you know that admin screen requires the quiz category so we will be just giving that so from where our quiz category is basically coming it's coming from our shared preferences so we will be just providing that and that's it i'll be just uh, adding a semicolon here and that's it now we are done by providing our categories and now when i will be just restarting my this application again and now i'll be just simply replacing my this placeholder with the escape fold widget 
and here I'll be just using my app bar and the app bar and I'll be just adding a title to this page which will be text and this will be add questions to this quiz category basically and that's it I'll be just saving this again and now I'll be just going to my admin dashboard and now when I just click on this category I'll be redirected to uh, admin screen and we are just adding questions to this flutter quiz and when I click here and we will be just adding to our another uh, category basically so in this way we will be just able to add questions to every specific quiz category when admin clicks on that category so we will be just redirecting to another screen yeah that's it so now i'll be just uh, uh, designing my this page so now i will be just designing this page and this page we will be just giving the access to the admin to add questions to the category so for that we need some kind of text uh, form field to just admin should be able to write on that and some options and a text form field for our answer and one button whenever that button is clicked so it will be just saved to our shared preferences so let's just begin with that so i'll be using the escape fold body part here on the body part we will be just using a simple column widget and here in the column widget we will be using the children and in the children i'll be just using the text form field so in the text form field we require hand controller so we will be just creating the controller in our question controller later on but for now i will be just simply designing it so for that we need to just use the decoration property of our text form field and in the input text form field we will be just using the label text and in the label text i will be just providing the question so basically it will be the question so now when i just save this we will be getting a field for our question so here i will be just adding uh, another one so I'll be just copying and pasting that and now we want some for fields for our options so we need four options field so it is better to just copy and paste for text form field for the same option so it is a good practice to just use a loop to just create our four uh, basic options so this will be for our correct answers and which will be basically from 0 to 3 and now I want the options field basically so for that we will be just uh, requiring four text form fields so we will be just using our for loop for that which will be for war i is equal to 0 i less than equal to 4 so it will just run four times so here i will be using high plus plus that's it so now i'll be just uh, creating that so now i'll be just using my this option here options and now i will be just providing the this index whenever it increases so it will be just adding two, zero one two three four and I'll be using the high plus one and now when I just save this so now when I just save this you will be just getting um, a field for question one field for option one option two option three option four and the correct answer from these options basically so now we also need a button for that so we will be just creating a button basically so i'll be just uh, using the elevated button of our flutter elevated button and it will be just giving us the own press functionality so for now we will be doing nothing and here i'll be just adding a text title to my button which will be add questions and i'll be using the cons keyword to just remove 
the warning and that's it we have just got our button and here i'll be just using some voice spaces so basically which will be the const sized box height 20 and that's it so now we have just got our uh, this overflow ratio so for that reason we will be just making this screen is scroll scrollable so for that we need to just wrap our this column widget with the single uh, single scrollable widget and there said now our screen will be scrollable great so we also require some kind of paddings here so we will be just providing that so in our column widget we will be just wrapping this widget with our padding widget and in the padding we need some kind of paddings and we will be just providing edge and sex all and now we will be just providing 10 and let's just see how it looks so that's great so we have just created our this field but this field also requires some controllers here so now let's just go to our con question controller class and create uh, the controllers for our this uh, admin screen so i'll be just moving to my question uh, controller class in the question controller class i'll be just i'll be creating the controllers here basically so so we need a controller for our this question and these options and this uh, correct answers basically so let's just do that so it will be the final text editing controller and which will be question controller text and this will be equal to text editing controller and that's it i have just created for that and now we require to create controller for these options so this will be basically a list as you know that we have just created and we were retrieving it using a for loop so for each of them we will we need a controller a controller so we will be just creating that so which will be the final list and the list will be the type of text editing controller and which will be option controller is equal to list dot generate what what length we want how many options we need we need just four options so we will be just creating that and now we will be just returning the text editing controller back and that's it we are done by creating the options controller so we have done by creating them and now we will be just moving to the next one which is the answer text editing controller so it will be the final text editing controller and that will be the correct answer controller and that will be text editing controller sorry this will be text editing controller the text editing controller and that's it so we will also require one another controller for our uh, this quick category quest controller so we just need to pass it and save it to our uh, shared preferences as you see in our question model we just added how this category so whenever we want to just save our this category and to share preferences so we also require a text editing controller for our category so for that reason we will be just creating one for our quiz category which will be text editing controller quiz category category is equal to text editing controller text editing controller yeah that's it so now we are done by creating our uh these text editing controllers for our these these fields so now we will be just providing them so for that we need to just provide the question controller so for that first we need to just 
uh, start our question controller in our admin screen so we will be just doing that which will be question controller is equal to question controller and this will be get dot point so in this we have we will be just removing this code to remove the errors and we are using get dot find because in the uh, admin dashboard we are just uh, starting our question controller by using the port and now from this dashboard screen we are just moving to our admin screen so in our admin screen we just need to find a controller this question controller where it was just created so for that reason we will be using get dot find in our admin screen basically so we can just do that by get uh, dot port but it will be a good practice that we are just coming from our admin dashboard screen and we have just uh, initialized our question controller by using the port and in the admin screen we will be just doing get get dot find so it will just find the controller where it was initialized basically so now we will be just uh, providing the controllers one by one so for that we will be just using the controller now the question controller and here we will be just using the question controller text so that's it we have just provided that and now we also we will be providing the options controller so basically it was a list as you uh, say that so now we will be just using our for loop index to provide the controller for each of them so which was question controller dot options controller and basically it was we will be providing the index number that's it we are done now we will be just providing the controller for our answer field which will be question controller dot correct answer that's it we are done by providing the text editing controller uh, for each of them so now we just need to implement our this add button add question button basically when we just click on this add button uh, this field should be saved into our shared preferences so for the first we need also we need to just provide some condition if these are empty or there is nothing no text into these fields so it should not work or show a message here so all fields are required so we will be just doing that first we will be just adding some condition if question controller dot question controller text is empty dot text is empty so we will be just getting giving a message to the user that question is required get dot snack bar and i'll be using the title required all fields are required so i'll be just doing for all of them so i'll be just moving uh, a bit faster So in the health part, we will be just uh, calling our function, which will be add questions. So we will be just creating this uh, uh, in a second. So let's just create that. So for that, we will be just creating our this add question function. So first, we will be just using the void, which will be add questions and this will be uh, a future function so we will be just using a sync keywords here and here at the very first we will be just collecting collecting question information from our text controllers so we will be just using final string so we will be just using question text and this will be just coming from question controller dot question controller dot text dot text that's it so i'll be just uh, 
collecting all of them so I'll be just moving a bit faster from here so as you know that how uh, this controller text form a field controller is basically uh, text or an uh, string so we need to just parse it to store it into how uh, this int variable so for that reason we will be just converting the string into how integer so for that reason we will be just using int the try parse and now we will be just using the question controller dot correct answer controller dot text and now we also need to just provide the null check so if it is null so what should be basically stored here so we will be just providing one has our correct answer in case if it is not getting any 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 value so yeah that's it now we have just um, collected the questions information from our text controllers and now we will be just uh, creating a new question instance basically so for that we will be just calling our that model where we have just created so for that reason i'll be just using my final the question which is our model so we will be just creating a instance which will be new question and this will be is equal to the question and now we need to just provide all of them to create a new question basically so we will be just getting the category from there from the above or from the admin dashboard it's basically coming from there so we will be getting that from there so we will be just providing whatever category will come from our admin dashboard it will be the category uh, value will be that so now we need to uh, create an, a unique ID for that so we will be just using our date time dot now and which will be the milli uh, second since it's store so our this ID will be unique so now we require the questions so questions are coming from our this question text basically so we will be providing that so our answer is basically coming from this correct answer so i'll be just providing this and now that's it we are done by just creating our uh, question so now i'll be just saving this into our shared preferences so for that reason we will be just calling the saved question to shared preferences function so save the question to shared preferences so i'll be just using the Havet keyword so because we are just saving it to our shared preferences it will just take some time so for that reason we will be just doing that so now i'll be just using the save question to shared preferences so basically i have not created this function so we do not have this uh, method in our question controller class so we will be just creating it now so i'll be just providing this new question uh, into my this um, shared preferences uh, function where we we want to just save our question into shared preferences so let's just move to our this question controller and let's just create our uh, save question to shared preferences so let's just go to our question controller and now we will be just creating a future function which will be void and we will be using this and now we will be just adding the our model basically as our parameters so we just we are just passing a type of this question into our uh, parameters from the admin screen so we will be just doing that and as you know this is a future function so we need a sync keyword for that so to save these our questions into our shared preferences we need to just create the instance of our shared preferences first so for that i'll be just creating our frames 
and I'll be just making this a weight and I'll be just calling my uh, shared preferences dot get instance that's it we have just created the instance of our shared preferences and now we will be just so that's it we are done by just creating our get shared preferences instance so now we will be just storing the question whatever questions are stored in our shared preferences we will be just getting it and storing it to our, our variable basically so we will be just using these questions is equal to our this instance shared preferences and i'll be just making this a weight and which will be dot get string list and we will be just providing the key basically which will be questions if there is no question so simply just uh, return a simple empty list basically so now we will be just uh, getting the question from this parameter and we will be just saving it into our this question list basically so let's just do that so we need to just convert the questions list to save it into shared preferences so we will be using questions dot head we will be just converting it into json encode and now we will be just providing this question basically this question and we will be just using our two json which we have just created on our model so that's it we have just converted these questions into json and we are just adding it to our this question list basically and that's it now we will be just saving it into our shared preferences set a string list and we will be just providing the key basically the key will be this and the value will be our this questions and that's it we are done by just creating uh, the same question to share preferences so we will be just saving it from here and we will be just going back to our admin screen and we also need to uh, show a message to the user or the admin that when admin clicks on this add questions uh, pop-up message should be shown that your question has been added to the category and we also need to clear all of these fields so let's just do that we will be just using get dot snack bar which will be headed and now we will be just adding the message which is question added that's it now we will be just clearing the controllers question controllers dot question controller dot text dot clear that's it so for the options controller we need our loop to clear all of them so we will be just doing that which will be question controller option controllers dot for each and now we will be just clearing that element dot key so that's it we are done by just clearing all of these fields so now we will be just checking it by adding a question I'll be just going back to my admin dashboard and from here I'll be just selecting a category and here I will be just uh, writing a simple question what is flutter test one 
test 2 test 3 and test 4 and we will be just adding the correct answer as 2 which will be index 1 so we will be just providing that and now when I just click the add question the question is basically headed so that's it for this video we have just added the functionality and allowing admin to add questions to the specific quiz category if you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates when we upload a new video that's it for this video i will be seeing you in the next one until then happy coding with platter